Hi there. Richard Lobenberg from Yellow Gazebo oh, on St. Clair Avenue West in Toronto. I just wanted to do a little video today with you about the best tools that you can find right around your house that can work as massage tools. So number one I'd like to start with is this spoon. And it's a good wooden spoon. I would uh, actually prefer as a massage tool something a little more hardy. But it's great, nice flat rounded surface. As you can see, I was working on, there's a point that's uh, kind of just below your ears, or well, is just below your ears on your neck, in the middle of these two muscles that run in there, large intestine 18. It is a great point for neck tension, as is some points in the back. So what you wanna do is just gent start out gently. Remember, uh, if you watched my um, uh, video before on how to massage someone else, you wanna warm the muscle up before you start going crazy on it. Now I do a lot of self massage, especially on my neck. So I'm used to how much pressure I can take, but you may not know. So start easy. Okay. You want to, don't put it past whether you're massaging yourself or somebody else. Don't put it past a six out of 10 on a pain scale. Okay. Take it easy. Take it easy. Uh, another tool that you can use, which uh, a lot of you probably already know is the yellow gazebo water bottle no just any any water bottle is fine but i'm just gonna not cover the logo all right no but seriously and go with heat please not cold heat good cold bad if you want to read uh my blog post about uh whether or not we should use ice for athletic injuries please check it out it's on the website but a water bottle also can be rolled and is a nice tool for getting along your it band or maybe your uh, the tops of your quads. You can use a broom handle. A broom handle is nice too. I'm in a bit of a confined space so I can't show, but you can imagine a broom handle under the legs, getting the hamstrings, getting the calf muscles, a rolling pin, same idea. Uh, another good one is any kind of, almost any kind of ball. This is a an Aki ball, which we sell at Yellow Gazebo, but uh, you can use, well, we also sell lacrosse balls, which are actually really, really good because they have some give. A tennis ball has a bit too much give, but can be used. Um, golf balls don't have any give, but again, can be used. You get foot pains. You can roll these sorts of balls, roll your feet on these kinds of balls and really get some nice, uh, some nice pain relief <laughs> there. Um, I also, I looked up cause I was trying to think of some other ideas and someone, uh, posted something about marshmallows in between the toes for spacers. So you could do that if that you, marshmallows are something to space your toes a bit if you have uh, foot pain. But what I like to do, and I'm going to probably, yeah, I have trouble doing it, but imagine you can do this with your fingers or your toes. This does not involve a tool, but is a good way to get uh, that sort of relief that I think the person with the marshmallow idea was going after. You can take a toe or a finger and just kind of gently roll it in the joints. So you're not pulling on it while you're rolling it. You're leaving it in the joint and kind of rolling it, rolling it, rolling and rolling. And then you go back and gently tug, 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 tug. Also, this is kind of a weird thing, but kind of press around the nail beds it can hurt a little bit, but believe, believe it or not, can be good for the joints. Also into the joints. If you're getting pain in a toe or finger joint, take a nail and really just press on the joint kind of so it hurts believe it or not that will help get blood flow into that joint and will help relieve some of the pain so try different things again start off gentle and if you're going to cook with the tool after please wash it thanks have a good day